Welcome back everybody, Green Assassin here, and today I am bringing you guys... Uh-oh, I forgot to check the episode before I started this episode. Um, Yeah, so I don't know what episode it is, sorry guys, it'll be in the title as usual. But this is the Unstable Mod Pack available on Cursed Voice. Um, so last episode, I do remember what we did last episode, we... Made a tier 4 altar uh, from Blood Magic. So I haven't really done much since last episode. Uh, I've just been kind of prepping for this episode. So, um, yeah, we got tier 4. And, yeah. I did do a little bit down here. So that's what we're going to work on this episode. Is I want to make it so that... The gathering of life essence is automated. And we can do that with a ritual now that I got a tier 4. So that was the whole reason why I made a tier 4 altar. Um, sorry if you guys can hear any bings in the background or dings. Um, my wife is working an overnight shift and she is messaging me, so... Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so let's see. What do we need? We need to go over here. I got a bunch of stuff over here ready to go. And something spawned in there. What do we got? A zombie. Okay, so in this chest, I have made a whole bunch of reinforced slates. And I got some buckets of lava, which I didn't need to take out of there, but that's okay. And then we're going to go in here, and over here we're going to go blood magic. And we are going to make... Some ritual stones. It's in my inventory, like seriously. Okay, let's grab this one, seeing as how it's the better one anyways, and try that again. This was working earlier, now it doesn't seem to want to work. Now I'm missing obsidian. Oh, I'm in the crafting table. Maybe that's what my problem was. There we go. Oh. No, that's right. Ritual stones. Oh, I don't know what's up with this, but this thing is not working for some reason. What if... Like, if you look down here, it's not getting any more nutrients distillant or whatever that stuff is called. And then if we come over here, I've checked this like three, four times. I don't know what's going on with it, but it will not send that stuff over here for some reason like even if I check channel set to receive um one thing I didn't check yeah that's always active I even tried making it push off of that side but if we go back over here and check this one Everything should be working. It's set set to send. Um, the pipe. I go down a little bit. It's getting messy. I need to sort this out a little bit better. Um, is set to insert. Always active. So I don't know what's going on with that. It's not working for some reason. Let's go back over there. I got lots of that stuff, and I know it's extracting from there. That was a weird sound. There it is again. Weird. Um, so let's pull out our Ender IO wrench. And we'll go like this. We'll put it back down. It's still not filling up. 
set to insert. All that should be good. Um, ritual stone. Let's see if it'll work this time. No, it's not working. Arr. Well, can I pull stuff out of here at least? Blocks of charcoal, obsidian, sweet. I can pull out of here at least still. Um, so ritual stones. We need the imbued slates. Or... Er, the reinforced slates, sorry. And then if we go... Still gonna do it in here, see if this will work. No, it won't. Will it work down here? That worked. Is it the right one? No, that's the wrong one. Well, I got a couple imperfect runes now. Try that again. There we go. So I need 32 of these. Oops, that was 36, but that's okay. Oh, I guess I need an extra one anyways. Um, So we need to make a master ritual stone. Oh, and that requires four of those. Do I still have enough? I have 32. Let's pull this thing out and make sure it was 32. 36. Okay, so I need to make a couple more of these. There we go. Perfect. Um, What else do we need? We're going to need a weak activation crystal. So we'll make one of these. I need glass... One duel. See, and that's the other thing, is it won't send stuff back to the system, so. Um, what else do we need? A weak activation crystal. We need obsidian. We need a diamond. Okay, let's grab a diamond. Good thing I still have this here. Um... Weak activation crystal. Should be able to craft that. Sweet. Now if we go over here and throw this in there, there should be just enough. What is that noise? There is something up there. That is just creepy. Is it the witch? Must be. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I'll take that now. <laughs> okay, so... Weak activation crystal, and we got the ritual diviner. So I've cleared this out. Hopefully I did this right. Um, I should really go watch them guys fight. Let's take this out. Hopefully that doesn't activate the spawner. Would you guys just, like, get over yourselves? Come on. In you go. Let's kind of help them out. Oh, yeah. This is 110. I can't spam that button. Oh, I gotta go up and over and then down here. And then, we got the Master Ritual Stone, and then if we take our Diviner, oh, that is cool. I really like that feature. I think I lined it up actually pretty good. Yeah, I think that lines up pretty good. Um, too bad I couldn't get on top of this thing. But if we stand right here, we'll just go like this. I can't tell. I don't know how to tell when it's done. 
Is it still building it? Yeah. Oh, I guess you can't click it anymore once it's done. Okay, <clears throat> so that is built. Oh, I forgot to make blackout glass, but I don't need it right now. So this thing has a range of 10 by 10 by 10. And I'm pretty sure it's off of the Master Ritual Stone. So I don't know if it's 10 that way, 10 that way, or probably 5 that way, 5 that way, and then each cardinal direction will be another 5. Um, so what do we got here? Uh, let's try, I got two X, oh no, those are the imperfect ones. Um, what do I need? I need my stone. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then that can be the floor. So let's go grab some dirt, because I'm going to need dirt. I'm going to do this with Cursed Earth. I haven't tried Cursed Earth in this pack yet, so it'll be cool checking how that works. And it is made a lot different. It is a lot easier to make it now. All you gotta do is kill a bunch of withers until you get a drop of evil. Which, nope, that one. We got four of them, so let's take two because I'm pretty sure this stuff should spread like it used to. I guess that's one way of doing it. And then we'll come back down here. And drop this. I want a 9x9 nine nine area, so um, I cut this out to be 11x11. 11 11, so I could put walls in. We'll go something like that. We'll take these out. Place the dirt. And then I'm going to fill this in for now. make this too high so they can't really jump up there. For some reason I'm getting quite a bit of lag, I don't know why. My recording doesn't say I'm getting frame rate loss, but it seems like I got lag. I guess spiders are going to be able to crawl up. That's okay. This will work for now. Um, let's take two of these. We'll put one. Whoa, that was a lot quicker than I thought. Okay, I only need one then. Let me out of here before they start shooting at me. And then, yeah, see that guy's already trying to kill me. And go down here. Hopefully I have enough blood in my system. I should probably... Okay, that's just not cool, yo. Uh-oh. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Whoa, that really, really hurt. Okay, I did not think this through. Get me out of here. Woo! Okay, um, let me take a quick cut and uh, I'll come back in a minute. Catch you guys on the other side. 
Okay, guys, sorry about that. I had to take a call. Um, I've done a few things, though. I figured I might as well get some stuff ready, seeing as how I was taking a cut. So, um, I've taken all the stuff down in there so I could get this redstone receiver back. I moved the tesseract over here. The screen controller's back there. Um... What else have I done? I filled in the top so that I can walk along here and not have to worry about them wanting to kill me and whatnot. So, and I also made some dark glass and put it in here. Another thing. Oh, <coughs> oh sorry about that, guys. Um, another thing that I did or I didn't realize was I'm going to need something to collect the mob drops with. And usually in the past I've gone with Batania's hopper hawks, I think they're called. Um, this time I'm going to go with a vacuum chest. So I'm just going to plop this thing down in the middle. And yes, I did put some lights in here so that I can control the spawning. Um, they're inverted power powered lights they're not supposed to be powered lights they're not powered lights that's saying they're powered lights but they're not powered lights i really hope they're not because this isn't gonna work if they're powered but anyways let's plop that down right there let's jump out and we can come down here and i've already run the cable i was gonna run it that way to the tesseract and then i figured well i got the line running all the way across anyway so i just ran it up to there instead figured that would be better um so let's hook this guy up now there's a really cool feature with these um, I haven't really used a lot of these. I've only started using these vacuum chests re recently. But you can filter the items. You can change the range. And you can also show the range. So I've got it set so it will um, basically cover this whole floor. So if we take a step out, it's like not going to grab from there. Um, so we can shut that off. So that's just a range of four. So that's four blocks in either direction. Um, and then I've laid out some stuff up here. Um, some redstone conduits so that we can turn on and off the lights. One thing I didn't realize is I might need another red wall. When this gets turned on, because I'm pretty sure this should except a redstone signal if I'm correct and then the light should go off when it's in use I'm hoping so if I set everything up right this should work so let's take our redstone receiver and we will plop it down right there and then oh is that even facing the right way no, it's not. So let's grab this wrench. Rotate it so it is. And then what I'm going to do over here is... This one is going to be south. And it's going to be in, out. I don't think I need that one on strong signal. And then... Actually, I'm no, because I'm not trying to go through the block. It's these ones that I want to set to strong signal. So in, out, down, strong signal, in, out, um, down, strong signal, in, out. And I hear stuff spawning already. Strong signal, in, out. Now, if I drop down over here, I have the button thing in here. I cleared it just in case, so we're gonna reactivate it. Um, I should probably fill that hole. If it'll let me. And then we're gonna right click this thing, set to channel one. And come over here, pop that in there, hit it. Oh, I gotta switch it. I totally forgot about this. So button, we're going to put toggle, and we're gonna, just going to put mob lights. 
and we'll change that to green. It's a little easier to see. Hit it again, that should have turned on. Let's go take a look. No, it didn't. Um, hit it again. Oh, wrong section. So, that seems to have worked. I don't like how that spider is glitching out. Or did they despawn? Oh yeah, I think the Cursed Earth, they despawn after a certain amount of time. So that way it doesn't cause lag, is my thoughts on that. Okay, um, altar is empty. So what I want to do... Come on. Um, let's go over here. And let's grab this, because I want to make sure I have enough blood in my network. Oh yeah, I got way more. This thing only costs 50,000 life essence to activate. So, let's grab our weak activation crystal. I don't know. Yes, I bound it to myself. So, let's right click this. A rush of energy flows through the ritual. I think I'm going to have to switch these to inverted lights, so... Let's go hit the button and find out. Boom. So hard maneuvering around all this stuff. Why is nothing spawning? Oh, there we go. Are they taking damage? I kind of have a feeling I'm going to have to switch that. Let's just switch this over to strong and see if that changes anything. Okay. Um, so. Turn that back on. Yeah, see, now it's working, so I need to switch the lights to the other ones. I think I have inverted set up right now. You can see me. Can you? I don't know if you can see me or not. He's not supposed to be able to see me through that. Okay, they're all gone, so let's open this up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take some torches. We're gonna go like this, like that. Hopefully I don't die. So these ones are just normal lights. So we'll break that, put that down. Break that one. Break that one. Break that one. I will fly back out here. Do this the safe way, because I don't want to die. Hit the button. Oh, I keep doing that. Drop down here. Lights are on. You can knock these out. Grab some stone, fill that in. I'm gonna fill that in for now too so I don't fall through there. Okay, now let's go back up here. Hit the button and see if this is working. We got blood in there now. Sounds like it's working. Looks like it's working. And then, if we take this guy... 
It is working. I am happy with that. So the other thing I'm going to do is I crafted one of these fuel <laughs> fluid modules. So very easy. I can right click on here. And if we go pop this in here, it'll tell me how full my altar is. And then when it gets full, I can turn the lights out. Now, I'm going to see if I can figure out a way of doing that automatically for me. But that won't be for an episode or two. Cool, so we've got automated life essence, life essence, so now I can tear this all out, which will be nice, I don't have to look at this here anymore. And then, we can take this, and we can fill this up. This is full, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm probably going to craft myself some sacrificial ruins. Um, B-L-O-O-D. Um, let's see, I want to... Yeah, rune of sacrifice, so I get more blood every time it kills it, or kills a mob down there. And then I also want to craft a whole bunch of these, but these are pretty expensive because I that's three buckets and an imbued slate. Um, and I don't know how much capacity each one gives me. I'll have to check that out as I make them, but I'll probably make a bunch of those off camera. I do kind of have some plans for next episode, but I got to get some stuff together, I think, before I do that. Oh yeah, that looks much better without that thing there. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for this episode. I have plans for over there, and I have plans for over there. Um, yeah. I think that's it for this episode, guys. I still haven't got this thing figured out. I don't know what's going on with it. Um, actually, seeing so we move some stuff around. Just quickly. Go to this one, and we'll go extract. Always active. That still didn't work. And then this we're just going to disable. Because that doesn't need to be hooked up to that. So yeah, i got to figure this out. i got to figure out why it's not getting the distillant. Worst case scenario, I'll just run a line along the item conduit that comes all the way over here. And then I'll just use that for power. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button. Show me your guys' support. Lap it good. Um, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.